Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 1993 Ford Ranger with a V6 3.0 liter engine in it. This might be the same, if not similar, to other mix and models of the same era, trucks and vans. I'm going to show out a lot of emissions components in this video. Starting off with the EGR valve right here on top. The system of, or the EGR system in this case consists of three different parts. This is a DPFE sensor in the EGR system. You also have a vacuum switching valve in the EGR system, which is right here. So the computer tells the VSV to open up, to open the EGR. The DPFE verifies that that all happens and everything should work properly. Here we have the emissions vapor purge solenoid right next to the battery. Everything is real easy to fix and repair on this one. You got the canister, two caps right here on top. That's the vapor canister. And if you need any parts shown in this video, make sure you check for a link in the description to buy them. I do get a little percentage if you do buy them. So down on the bottom, we have the oxygen sensors. Since this is an older vehicle, it does not have the rear oxygen sensors or the catalyst efficiency oxygen sensors. Here you have bank two, sensor one. This is on the driver's side. So bank two is on the driver's side on this vehicle. Opposite is going to be your bank one sensor one. That's on the passenger side. Real simple, easy to get to. Shouldn't be too hard to replace. Probably stuck on there if you do have to replace it. Put some PV spray on it or so. Last off, we're going to have the PCV valve right here on the driver's side valve cover against the firewall. But it should be pretty easy to replace as well. PCV valve. If you need to buy one, check for a link in the description. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Hopefully I'll see you in the next, hopefully helpful video. Thanks for watching.